the triathlon course at the 13th South Pacific Games was set at Foliolo, about a 40 minute drive from downtown Apia. Traditionally, the New Caledonians are the strongest multi-sport country and that was no different today. The 1500 metre swim challenged many as it so often does, but first out of the water was Olivier Bargibont, followed just 10 seconds later by the leading woman, Benedict Mernier, a terrific swim from her. All of the leading chances in the race were out of the water within a minute or so of one another, making the transition area a busy place as they jumped on their bikes for the 40 kilometre ride. First off the cycle was Bargibond in an hour and five minutes. By this time the temperature was really starting to climb as the New Caledonian laced up his shoes for the 10k run. Just half a minute behind, Tahiti's Rajas Marando was putting the pressure on the leader. Mernier was the first woman to finish the cycle leg, comfortably ahead of the rest of the female field as she headed off on the run. Two hours, 13 minutes and 44 seconds after he dived into the water, Olivier Bargibond of New Caledonia crossed the line for the gold medal in the triathlon at the 13th South Pacific Games, but it was close. Marando was only 15 seconds behind, with Stéphane Lacroix of Nouvelle Caledonie taking the bronze. Sixth across the line and first woman was Benedict Mernier, an incredible 16 minutes ahead of Candy Point. Erica Ellis took the bronze to complete the New Caledonian trifecta for the women's triathlon. But while those at the top of the field were rehydrating and cooling down, further back it was still hard and hot work. Luckily we only do that once a year. <laughs> oh, so much pain. The hockey tournament only had four teams in it, but that didn't stop it being a great competition. In the end, Fiji won gold, beating PNG in sudden death extra time. <laughs> Young Tahitian Vita Guillaume won the men's singles at the Royal Samoan Country Club, the only golfer under par. American Samoa's Christine Drabble took the women's gold. No surprises with the finalists from the Rugby Sevens tournament at the 13th South Pacific Games. Fiji and Samoa each have teams on the IRB World Series circuit and that experience showed in all their lead-up matches. Between them, they had conceded just one try leading up to this final. Welcome back to Upvia Park in Samoa, where the second half is just underway. With Fiji ahead 19-5, they've just scored a spectacular try to make that 24 points to five. Rokobiao 
With a wonderful chip and chase. And the try scorer. Rock or B.O. have plenty of work to do, not much room. Down a thin left-hand side, the conversion is successful. So now 26 points to five, and here it is, just the end of it after Rock or B.O. Did well here, Richard. Yeah, he did. He's a little bit lucky, isn't he? The ball, the bounce of the ball set up for him in these very shallow in-goal areas. So Oali might much of Samoa's comeback if they're going to have one will rest on that man at first receiver goes to the line a change of direction and a little show and go from Mikael looking for support in the form of Fossilima the chasing defenders coming a little right foot step a high tackle and the ball just short there's an advantage with Samoa anyway Referee reaching for the yellow card. <laughs> Gee, you go to a Sinbin and Sevens for some petty offences, you have to say. I'm going to ignore the offence, to be quite honest, because what excited me was the running of the big men. So, Mikael. <laughs> now the challenge for Fiji. Just six players. The easy conversion from Wiley Mike. 26-12, two converted tries, and Fiji were just six defenders. Didn't they do well to set up that field position? Mikaeli and Fao Silva. Wonderful running by the big men. Big, fast, hard running. Loose forwards in the 15-a-side game, and so very, very useful in these sevens teams to have guys like that who can just intimidate the opposition. Well, it looks a bit like a casualty clearing station at the moment in the backfield. This is Fiji very cleverly just taking a little bit of time off the clock or attempting to. The referee having none of it stopped the clock while it was going on. Remember, they've got a man in the Sinbin, and that man is Maya. Well, in my lost forward and a penalty. Another big decision in favour of Samoa. Mikaela with a quick tip. Well, in my Gives a delayed pass, a change of angle from Salazar. And Fiji have come away with the ball. Ali Mai tries to hold it up. Now Fiji desperate to win the gold medal. Aggressive running from Rocco Diva. And turned over again. Now Yosefo going hard at the line, loses the ball. Nali Boot. And the pressure starting to tell the boys getting whacked up. Oh, there's a little bit of nickel out there, but boy, isn't there some sensational stuff going on? This game has been played at rocket speed, and some of the defending that's been going on, last ditch desperate efforts, and bowling people out of the way. It's just terrific. Great entertainment for the big crowd here at Apia Park, who just love their football played at speed and with aggression. Well, in the context of the game, the failure to score from that play. With Rook or Bell picking for a field position that also get the throw at the line out because it's a penalty is significant. Three minutes to go. They're down by two converted tries. Samoa. Fiji, they desperately want to win this. And Viliama Meyer is coming back out of the Sinbin, so he's done his time. Back to seven, Fiji. Couldn't come at a better time. That's why they kicked it out, just to bleed some more time off the clock and get him back on the field. Walker Diva, an untidy win. Samoa. Ayono works hard as a Fijian player on the Samoa side. Now Wally Mike tries a little bit of subtle play, makes a move for the Toro. Convert his own try for sure and set up one last gasp for Samoa to steal the gold medal, which at this stage is headed to Suba and Fiji, where the Fijians have dominated this final. Less than two minutes.
minutes to go. Well, who saw it and who can remember it? The final in Wellington at the Sevens in Wellington back in February this year. Massive attack that Samoa man made on Fiji that day. Fiji have made the attack this day, but look at my, you can see why he is one of the stars of the IRB Sevens tournament. The home crowd here at Arpia Park, they try to will their team home. And Fiji coming away with it. This is a big possession with a minute and a half on the clock. Takanevalu loses the ball. Samoa with a chance to level it up. Referee says backwards. Now falls to lever inside his own half. Can he do something? Takes on Rocco Bial. Leaves the ball in the field of play. Now Fiji, they just want to hold the ball and run the clock down. Trying to avoid contact. Pressure's on Samoa. Rocco Bial with a chip and chase. Turns the ball over now. Samoa. Running at the line. Wally Mai has a look around. Right and left, there's a penalty. 47 seconds on the clock. What was he doing? Now, Sony Rockenbow. Why the kick? And now, a yellow card. So they'll finish the game a man short. Now, Wally Mai with a tap. Needs to come up with a play. Mikael has been strong. Now, Iono takes the ball into contact. Wally Meyer with a flat pass. Fasileva tries to turn the full time. Huda is gone. Desperate times for Samoa. They try to move the ball through. Iono goes to the line, changes direction. Tries to present the ball in the tackle. Here it comes back slowly. Wally Mai needs to look at the ball. Loses the ball forward. And there's another penalty. One more chance for the home team, Samoa. One more chance to level it all up. The full-time hooter is gone. O'Ali oh, Mai will be the player that has to come up with a play. Goes to the line. Gives off a short ball. Another change of direction. Samoa going for the line. The tackle is made. The ball's been lost forward. The full-time is... And it's a win for Fiji. Disappointment for the Samoan team and the home crowd. But what a game. What a final. And Suva Fiji is with the gold medal of the 13th South Pacific Games in this all-important sport of sevens rugby. Fiji, Richard Mason, Fiji. Victory for Fiji's Warren Yi in the men's squash final in a long, tough five game match with New Caledonia's Long Goofy. 
Now he gets another chance. Match point again, Fiji. 8-5. He's done it. He's done it. Warren Yee takes the men's singles gold. 9-6, 9-3, 3-9, 7-9. And 9-5, gold to Fiji in the men's singles in the squash. In the women's singles, Nalagay Guy of PNG took gold over the Cook Islands, Teitua Russell. New Caledonia dominated the badminton tournament at the 13th South Pacific Games, winning all the golds on offer except for the women's singles, where Fiji's under white side denied them the clean sweep. The top three netball nations at these games are on their way to the world champs in New Zealand very soon. Predictably enough, Fiji won through to the final unbeaten with their only real test from PNG in the semi-final. Samoa was the other finalist, and with this final following the Rugby Sevens, a full house was on hand to cheer on their heroes. Unfortunately for the locals, Fiji lived up to their higher world ranking. To Sasa, the goal attack, Evans with a nice little tip over the back of Tofi Lau. And Chong with a catch and pass. Fijian supporters starting to party. They've been singing all week at all of their venues. Tremendous support at these games for the Fijian teams. They have been a very popular nation as they are around the Pacific. 22 countries involved in the 13th South Pacific Games. Eight teams in the netball program. And two of them with world ranking. Samoa at six, Fiji at eight. And it's Fiji with just over three minutes to go, ahead by ten. So they are starting to think, Fijian supporters, wherever you're watching around the Pacific or around the world, you can now start thinking about the reality of the 2007 South Pacific gold medal coming to Fiji where your very, very proud nation will hold it with great pride for the next four years. Caroline Archon looking for Liu Ana again. This defence by Fiji has been relentless. Wonga. And the centre. Tofi Lau. Frustrating night for the goalkeeper. She's had a tremendous week. Harder, the wing defence. Fiji continuing to apply pressure. Another intercept. Well, it's fair to say at Fiji, whilst they have certainly saved their best for last, some more have saved their worst performance for the gold medal game. There looked to be a lack of understanding amongst their passing. Their communication has been at times uncertain. Fiji, by comparison, have been physical, have been hustling and bustling. Forced the Samoan team into error after error. Picked off intercepts. There's another. Mere Rambuka. An indication of the sort of intensity that Fiji have brought to this contest. The clock ticks away. Fiji get ready to celebrate the gold medal in the netball. And very popular, the netball has been as well. But Norfolk Island, Solomon Islands, Cook Islands, Papua New Guinea, Vanuatu and the Tokelo Islands all contributing to what has been a memorable week of netball here in Apia in Samoa. Fiji and Samoa with the pleasure and privilege of playing in the final. And Fiji with the honour of being South Pacific Champions 2007 and honour they will hold for four years. The Samoan team in great form during the week but just not able to recapture that in the final. 
Fiji, Warara and Shaw, they have been superstars this week. The goal shoot and goal attack both replaced by Viliama David. And she gives her bench Evans and Tui Sasa a run. But in every aspect of the game of netball, we have seen from Fiji methodical, clinical and professional performance from them. And this would be as dominant a performance you would expect to see at this level. They lead by 11 at halftime, 51 to 41. They lead by 11 now with seconds to go on the clock. So a much better and competitive second half from Samoa, but not able to overcome that big deficit that Fiji had at halftime. We're now in referee's time, and the Fijian contingent getting ready to celebrate. It has been five long days, 52-41. And what a very commanding performance this has been from the Fijian team. And there it is, a full time at the Apia Netball Centre in Samoa. And Fiji, what a dominant performance from them. Few would have picked that this would have been such a dominant performance from Fiji. Having to play in front of a hostile crowd with an uncertain performance in the semi final. And they have come out 24 hours later. And offensively and defensively, mentally and physically, they have been on top of Samoa in every aspect of the game. Powerlifting saw some huge weights hoisted. Nauru's David Ellerman topping the list. He lifted a total of 885 kilograms to win the super heavyweight division. of days of heavy rain in the middle of week two of the 13th South Pacific Games put paid to the semi-finals and the medal playoffs in the baseball. That meant that the gold was awarded to Palau on the strength of their unbeaten round-robin schedule. Papua New Guinea and American Samoa today played the women's gold medal match at the softball diamond and it was a close and exciting affair. All the scoring action was early. PNG the first to cross home plate, much to their delight. In the second inning, PNG again batted well to get runners on base before scoring their second run. American Samoa did pull one back, but the PNG pitching and fielding remained tight and Papua New Guinea are the South Pacific Games women's softball champions with a 2-1 win. Touch was once a sport played as a warm-up by rugby teams on practice nights. Then it was a social game down at the local park, but now it's an elite sport in its own right. Samoa made all three finals, the men beaten by Fiji and the women losing to the Cooks. The mixed team then was playing for the whole team in their final against the Cook Islands, and it was a very close game. So six four. Just trailed by two, the Cook Islands are good enough. And this sort of a lead is no lead in touch, it can disappear very quickly. Yes, 
No, the touch made, the touch is made, it's not going to be given. And again, we see this, this work and deceptive stuff around that acting half area from the Cook Islands. They've got some real tricks. Six, five now the score. And the last, the quick defensive effort from Samoa Cook Island. It's pressing up on defence, forced the error. Now the Cook Islanders will try and find a hole in the Samoan defence. They trail by one. It's been a long two or three days, even longer, for those that have played in the men's and women's division that are backing up in the mixed open grade. So the Cook Islands turn to slow things down a little bit, looking for an opportunity. Total mark. Oh, makes the touch. Roll the ball, son. Get on with the game. Ready for a call from the ref. Wasn't going to come. So the Cook Islands looking for the quick touch. And a very good play again around that acting half area. That has been the strong point for the Cook Islands. That's going to lock it up at 6 all. And Samoa having real trouble trying to cope with these Cook Islands. Deceptive plays that they have around that acting half area. And there it was again. They knew exactly what they were going to do. And there's a little shape to pass and then falling over. And the referee ruling that downward pressure was made before Prestatini could make the touch. So six all. So the pressure and tension starting to build. You mentioned earlier the can uh, fatigue coming on at a couple of players. I'm starting to see that now. But patience needs to be part of it for both players of these teams as we're counting down six more minutes to the end of the game. So the Cook Island team. Cuppy. Good touch. Gee, very good quality touch between two evenly matched teams. Both deserve their place in the final. Just over six minutes to go and six all. Just the one try scored so far in the second half. Vaai. Beat them. Oh, here's a chance. Needs to find somebody to get down with pressure on the ball, Vaai. He knows how important that try is. Another great dead player by Samoa. 7-6-4 Samoa, consistently patient, penetrating the attack in the center of the field. Number six there by Samoa. Trying to look for the teammate. Here it is. Up comes number four. Touchdown for Samoa, just what they needed. Start to think, Chris, it's in there. Start to think about winning a gold medal at Apia Park at the 13th South Pacific Games in front of their home crowd. Fanga Sao. Oh, good bit of skill and deception. Less than 10 seconds to go. Fanga Sao. Resetini. Well, they know they've got it one. So the Cook Islands can't do much with it. There it is, the first time Huda. A popular win for the home team, Samoa. They celebrate. Seven touchdowns to six. The Cook Islands thought they'd come back. It's been a long week. The emotion, the sentiment, and the relief at winning a gold medal. Samoa seven, the Cook Islands six.
Fiji are the 2007 South Pacific Games basketball champions, both the men and the women taking gold. The men hammered Guam 95-58, while the Fiji women were more tested by American Samoa before coming out the winners 70-62. American Samoa from the side, time ticking down. Up she goes. Didn't draw the foul either. Great outlet pass. Gee, that's good play. Terrific transition from defence into attack by Fiji. And we'll hand them there. And we're back to the line. Substitution called by American Samoa. Fiji going to the line here. Last few moments of the women's basketball final at the South Pacific Games. In a busy tournament, the basketball. They played it on two adjacent courts. And they've been very accurate from the line too, Fiji. Puts them ahead by eight. Takes them out of the danger of two three-pointers. Mark and Sam are really going to have to do something now as the clock counts down. Good start. Drags a couple back. Good play. Huge outlet pass. Look out. And Fiji return the compliment. We're going backwards and forwards, up and down the court. Here at Pilayata. Long way up for three blocked. And you'd think that that's game for Fiji. Hang on to position here for a couple more shot blocks. And they're counting down. There it is. Fiji take goal. They beat the American Samoa 70 to 62. Wallace and Fatuna was the team to beat in the men's volleyball, and they lived up to their reputation, taking the gold, but they had to do it the hard way. A long five set marathon over Tahiti. Chance for them now to win the point. Good defence from Wallace and Fatuna, no chance. Tahiti under a little bit of pressure, get the ball back. Great rally, both teams in good form. Critical part of the match. Now Tahiti, can they win the point with the fence? Wallace and Fatuna. Now Tahiti's under some pressure. Well put. You see the delight from the Wallace and Fatuna players understanding the importance of that critical play and the critical point. 10 and 7. Short serve. A solid backed up by some good attack. Pushes them out to 11. with a serve goes long. Good defence. Now a chance. Tahiti with some aggression. That's the sort of thing they're going to need to get back into this contest, Tahiti. Wallace and Fatuma, another chance. Kick that scoreboard, ticking on, get them closer to the gold medal. Nice touch. Well, I was going to say a nice touch of pass from Tahiti. One of the players touched the net. Conceded another point to Wallace and Fortuna. Up in midcourt for Wallace and Fortuna. Goes midcourt. Tahiti desperate to get back into the contest. A nice touch. Patricia being brought to bear by Tahiti. Wallace and Fortuna play at the net. Next contact. Now Tahiti have the serve. 
Two sets all. Four very close sets in the opening stanza. And this is the gold medal. Fifth in the deciding set. It's a short serve from Wallace and Fortuna. Tahiti. Tahiti again, the left side of the net. It's a good cross court drive. Good confidence play from Tahiti. They do it two more times, it puts up pressure. Eti and Paul Fay. Well, Tahiti to serve. A long way behind the baseline in the right hand corner. Goes down the line. Wallace and Fortuna. Yes! No contact with the net. Controversy. No Tahiti. Win the serve and just a small, small sign that they could get back into this match. The serve is mid-court. Wallace and Fortuna. Chance now. Good point. 14-11. Set point and match point. The gold medal just around the corner for Wallace and Fortuna. Jelly Penny serves mid-court. Tahiti. Send players out, the ball's blocked, the gold medal will go to Wallace and Fortuna. The jubilation, the celebration as the team come together. And after a long, long week of very intense competition in the men's of volleyball, the gold medal to Wallace and Fortuna. A top result for Wallace, but better news for Tahiti in the women's volleyball. They took gold in straight sets over Fiji. further ahead a great job the organizers have done of indoor volleyball at this tournament to serve. Twenty-one fifteen. With this very big, very experienced Tahitian team and for Fiji training facilities, meaningful international competition. To their future development in this sport. Looks for touching the net. So they keep closer. Tahiti. To Eva to serve. On the court. GG can't control. Easy point. 23, 15, unforced error. Sets up, set point and match point for Tahiti. 24 to 16, the dominant side in the indoor volleyball competition at the South Pacific Games of 2007. It's been Tahiti! Fiji, no contact with the net. Point is awarded. 
Tahiti. And finally today, how could we come to a Pacific Island and not go surfing? At the 13th South Pacific Games, the surfing was on the big island of Savai.